I'm driving around and I found this really, really cool cemetery and I had to stop and I pulled in and I didn't realize how big it was. So I drove in and literally nobody's out here. But as I was driving, I saw this really interesting looking like mausoleum. It's like open air. I don't know. Here, let's see. So literally right across from this path, I believe this is a uh, Jewish section of the cemetery over here. It's a huge, huge section of it. And then over here seems like uh, just, yeah, just another, another section. So this is Thomas or John Thomas Lord. Born in 1867, died April 16th, 1912. Dang, it's my best friend's birthday, my boy Sam. I'm gonna have to call my boy and check on him. April 16th. Yeah. Seems like to be a lot of Masons. Reuben D. Lord, 1896 to 1938. Cawthorn, or Cawthon, Cawthon. I just put an R in that man name. Seems like he's amazing. I believe that's the Masonic sign. Y'all, I love big trees. Look how beautiful this tree is. Like, tell me that don't feel like it just symbolizes just like life. I don't know. I feel like maybe we should. I wanted to go to that, that mausoleum over there in the back. You see? It's just, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Oh my gosh. It sounded like somebody just hit my car. Not like a car hitting a car, but like somebody dropped something on my car. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are already starting off. Already starting off. out here. These seem to be military resting stones. James Thomas Clark, Georgia, U.S. Navy. Thank you for your service, Mr. Clark. Stephanie Barrow Castellana. She passed away in 2020. Where in my peripheral, it literally, I don't know, it felt like somebody was moving around this area. Y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all have been telling me that y'all see like shadows and, and things in the backgrounds of my videos. And I be believing y'all, man, because like I feel like a lot of y'all might be really sensitive and might can really sense things that, you know, that I might not even be able to sense and pick up. Cause I do be hearing stuff in the backgrounds a lot of the time. So I just appreciate all of y'all. Look at that mausoleum. Look at that. Wait a minute. Does that say spray? Y'all. My heart just dropped. Look at this. That mausoleum back there. Look at this. Newman Spratt. Oh my gosh, y'all. I've never met someone like with the last name as me. Like S P R A T T. Like, I always get teased. Y'all, like, I always used to get teased. Like, you know, the, the little uh, nursery rhyme Jack Spratt could eat no fat, but they spelled Spratt in that nursery rhyme I think with one T I've never and then the C hey man you don't never want to see your last name on the headstone man but I feel like I feel drawn here I feel like we definitely got to do a spirit box session here I feel like I have to hold on y'all let me set up 
What is going on, Graveyard Shift family? It is your boy, Dalen Spratt here. Dalen Spratt here. And we are clocked in for another, another amazing, amazing Graveyard Shift episode. Y'all, we're going to jump right into it, man. I got a couple quick announcements, just a couple, and we're going to get right into it. Announcement number one, the most important announcement, y'all, tomorrow... Why They Hunt, the official podcast, starts tomorrow. So the video I drop on this page tomorrow is going to be us discussing the story that we will be investigating on Sunday. So tomorrow the podcast drops. You can watch me and Mark discuss it, talk about it, laugh, all of that. Then Sunday, we're dropping our investigative show of Why They Hunt, where me and Mark travel to Nashville and we literally go and try to figure out the true story behind a young lady by the name of Birdie Patterson. So, y'all, this is dope, y'all. I'm super excited, y'all. So, yeah, tomorrow the podcast, Sunday, will be the first episode, investigative episode of Why They Hunt. Number two, don't forget, y'all, the new shirts drop June 18th. And to the gentleman that told me I pub my merch too much and that I'm neglecting my channel, me... And my Uncle Newman over here got some words for you, brother. Hey, man, I don't be pumping my merch, man, a lot. Leading up to it, I tell you when a drop is coming. So I apologize if you feel like I'm pumping my stuff to y'all. That ain't my mission. That ain't my aim. But I am letting y'all know when the, first, when the next shirt drops. Because I don't have merch for sale all day, every day. I literally drop it for a week every quarter and it's always a new design that's the fun part of the graveyard shift hey man say uh tell my man not to interrupt our family fun <laughs> like don't bring your negativity into our family fun now with that being said let's hop into it i love y'all graveyard shift family and thank y'all for having my back in these comments newman spratt my name is dalen spratt spelled the exact same way s-p-r-a-t-t -T. Uh, I've never met anyone, honestly, with the last name Spratt. A random girl found me on Facebook like 12 years ago. It was like, hey, cousin. <laughs> like from Oklahoma. <laughs> so maybe there are a lot of Spratts, but I haven't found many of us. So maybe, I don't know, what if, huh? What if we are related somewhere down the line? I was trying, I was thinking, I got quiet because I was trying to think of like my history, my lineage. And I want to say my dad, who's the Spratt side, I want to say they, they came from like the, the Carolinas to Texas. I don't know how all that worked, Newman, but what if we are some way kind of intertwined? Hey, uh, my, my graveyard shift research family, let's try to look up Newman Smith. We are here in, um, uh, the Greenwood Cemetery in Atlanta, Georgia. Greenwood Cemetery, Atlanta, Georgia. Newman Smith. Let's see what we can find about Uncle Newman. Huh. So what I do is I come to places like this and I speak to those who may not have been spoken to in a long time. And I was genuinely just driving by and I saw the Kimbrough uh, mausoleum behind you. I was walking over here to see it and literally in the camera, I saw the last name Spratt. So I would love to sit down and speak with you. I come with peace, love, the purest of intentions, light, respect, deference. And uh, I would love for you to speak to us if you're here, if you feel like it. So you can talk to me through this box. It will not hurt, harm, or anything. It just allows me to hear you. All right. I don't know why I feel like uh, Mr. Newman's my uncle. <laughs> I hope, I hope, uh, I hope he don't come in hot. Yeah, I don't forgot my little password. Hold on, y'all. That's how y'all know these don't be staged. These episodes don't be staged. Um, dang, what is my passcode? Tripping. Y'all, I am, my mind genuinely just went blank. There we go. <laughs> you ever just had like a brain freeze? I just never. I, I, okay, back to it, guys. 
maybe I'm a little nervous because I, my first time talking to like someone that has my name on the tombstone. Mr. Sprint, are you here? Can you tell me your first name? So just so I know for sure that I'm talking to you, Mr. Sprat, can you tell me your name? Did y'all hear that whisper? Not Mr. Newman Spratt. You said that's me? How long have you been resting here? Have you had any visitors in a while? Do you mind that I'm sitting here talking to you? Do you feel like we could be related somewhere down the line? You would Well, yeah. I say, yeah. Do you mind if I call you Uncle? Uncle Newman? Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, Mr. Newman? Were you married? Did that sound like somebody said this is a little creepy for me? Is this a little weird for you, Mr. Newman? Is it strange that I can hear you talking? Most of us. Are there a lot of people watching us right now? Are there a lot of spirits watching us? Did you have children, Newman? Some. How many children did you have? How did you pass away? Do you remember much about your life? When I'm sober, are you not sober now? Say no, sir. Y'all, that was clear as day. Do y'all feel like y'all can get lifted on the other side? Let's find out. So, how are you not sober? What has you inebriated? 
What is considered toxic? Did you did you used to drink a lot when you were alive? I said enjoy. What was your drink of choice? Would you want someone to bring you a drink sometime? Something? So if I was to bring you something back, what would be a good gift to bring you? Do you feel like you lived a fulfilled life? You miss Do you have any regrets? Is there anything that you would do over again if you could? Possibly. No, just one. What do you miss most about life? Everything. Say everything. But if you had to just specifically pick one thing, what do you think about the most? So, are you still here? Are you in? Where are you? Are you stuck in your final resting place? Good. No. I'm not. Good. Are you able, Mr. Scratch, to be? Is somebody over here watching me? I said us. Who are you in the distance that's looking at me? To Max. Okay, I like. So Max, are you just watching me talk to Uncle Newman? Good Max, are you buried somewhere over here? Yes, sir. Where? Okay, Max, I see a lot of names on these headstones. Can you tell me the name that's on your headstone? Wait, I'm sorry, Max, I didn't hear you. Can you tell me? Okay. I haven't heard your your the name that's written on your resting stone, Max. 
if you're in this area. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what that was all about, y'all. So as I'm sitting here talking to Unc, I'm looking at y'all, but I see like something move. It seemed like a I don't know. It was like a shadow kinda, but it was upright. It was real quick. And so then that's that's why I asked, is someone watching? And it said the box said us. And I was like, who's us? And he said Max. And I was trying to see if Max could maybe give me his last name. And that way I can maybe find it over here and come speak to him directly. But then it kind of seems like he went away. So I apologize that, about that, uh, uh, Uncle Spratt. But I would love to get back to this conversation. This is cool. Like, I don't know. This feels real cool. Like, I'm not even. I don't know. This feels different. But not in a bad way. Hmm. Can't explain it. <laughs> Uncle Uncle Newman, are you happy? I'm happy. I'm I'm really happy, Uncle Newman. Bill. Y'all hear that music? Okay. That's somebody playing music like way over those trees. I was like, where is that music coming from? <laughs> Uncle Newman, do you miss music? I moved it. Observing. What type of music did you used to listen to? Mr. Nova, where's the rest of your family? What are you with him now? Do you wish that they were resting near you? The children? Where are your children resting? Children. But are you with your children now in the afterlife? We're with. So they 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 like my little cousins, man. I really thought we was gonna go a whole shift without one of one of them clocking in. But we ain't got Mary Ellen or Rosemary or Walter. We did just get Adrian. Uncle Newman, do you uh do you know Adrian? Is Adrian a man or a woman? I don't know. I just didn't know how to address. Okay. We're just going to treat Adrian like, like they are unisex. We don't know yet. So. I know. So, Mr. Spratt, for someone with the same name as you, 
How was life for the Sprats? How was life for your family of Sprats? It was a lot. It was a lot. Why was it a lie? What type of work did you find yourself doing? So. Can I always find you here? Yes. Do you ever get to leave here? At what point do you just transition fully to your final destination? Observing. Observing. Is there anyone else that would like to speak to me over here? Forcing it. Well, Uncle Newman, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate the time that you've given us today. You say thank you, Privy. Is there anything that you want to say to us before we leave? What can you do? Say, what can you do? Jack. Jack. Is he trying to say, I can't do Jack? Is there something you need me to do? Trust. Trust. There is something. You turn on me. What, what can we what can I do for you? Okay. Is Adrian still there? I know something. Okay, Uncle Spratt, man. It was nice talking to you. I appreciate you. Can I come back and speak to you another time? Switch up. I might try to bring you a little drinky drink next time I come by. We can say hurry back. <laughs> Alright, Newman. That was kind of cool. I felt like Mr. Spratt here just probably ain't had nobody to talk to in a while, so it was kind of cool to talk to somebody with the same last name. I thought it was going to feel kind of eerie, so my energy was kind of, I think I was a little guarded at first, but it, it never felt bad. It always felt welcoming, so I appreciate you, Mr. Newman, and I hope you're resting well, man. I hope I can come back and visit you more often. I got to bring you that drink. All right, Graveyard Shift fam, that was cool. I don't know. I might just sit out here for a little while. I appreciate y'all tuning in. And until next time, y'all. Shifting ain't easy. But sometimes you find your family. Love, love, love.